Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another day of the video diary and it's 7 minutes past 7 and look how fucking smart I look for 7 minutes past 7, holy shit. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, a little bit of nerves but I'm looking and feeling like I look smart so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also ahead of time, about 5 minutes ahead, wait for Atlas to install these same updates she's been doing for the past 7 days and then decides that she doesn't want to. Um, right, let's turn that off. My ensemble is the new stripy shirt with connection. Suit trousers and black pointy shoes. Normally, uh, I won't have to wear suit trousers or a shirt, um, and I can't wait for those days. But until then, I like to think that I look pretty good, and that makes me feel confident, and that's what's important. I can't think of anything else I might need, so let's go. Oh, right then, ladies and gentlemen, today we are heading back, like I say, to work. Um, it's my first day, pretty excited. Um, the excitement has kicked in a little bit more now as opposed to yesterday where it was more nerves. Um, but yeah, we're on our way now and we're on my way to bus. This is, as I say, the first day, so it's a little bit different to what it's normally going to be. Today, as my phone goes absolutely mental, um, what we do is we get to work for... We need to get the 76 bus, not the 75 by the way. We get the 76 bus and then we get a um, lift from there to... Um, head office which is up in Oust right on the border of Wales um, like I think it's just off the bridge is it a seven bridge um, so that's where uh, we're going today which is why I've got to get up earlier than I normally would do um, normally I don't have to be there for an extra like half an hour so I'm obviously cutting it fine as well cutting it nice and safe so getting there at like six minutes past eight instead of half eight so technically once I get used to the buses and stuff I might not have to leave until an hour after this ish because obviously traffic gets worse and worse and worse uh, as time goes on but normally I have to be there for nine and once I settle into it I won't be forcing myself to go early or going safely early because I'll know how the buses run and stuff but at the moment I don't know how that works so I'm going down a thingy what have I got I've got all of the documents that I think the university wants me to pass on I've also got all of the things I need to prove who I am so I've got my passport and some p60 information of course you have a low battery um, I don't have a P45 because I haven't quit my previous job. I'm still part of their team. I'm just taking a break for a year. Uh, so that's a slight HR complication. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I have all the forms the university wants me to give them. Um, I've got my notepad to take down the many different things I'm going to have to learn today. Uh, and obviously pen to work with that. I've got my Nexus, Kindle, uh, and a book for the... Uh, no, don't scuff your shoes. Uh, for the bus ride tissues, glasses, sunglasses just in case it's too bright, um, everything, wallet, bus pass, phone, camera keys, uh, is that it? So yeah, I'm pretty excited, um, it is going to be warm, especially later, which I'm not too excited about because I don't fare well in heat, but hopefully it's an air conditioned office and stuff coming up, pat lunch, I almost forgot to do a pat lunch last night by the way, lovely text me saying you got your pat lunch and I'm like oh, oh yeah, that's a good idea, because <laughs> normally when I go to my old work I'd buy something when I'm there because I'm lazy and I just don't care where my money goes, uh, <laughs> right back into my employer's back pocket normally, oh, but yeah, let's get bus, there goes 176, okay, I didn't need that one, that one really would have got me early, this next one is the one I want, Note to self, if I want that one, I've got to leave a little bit earlier. But that gives me time to go to the uh, bank, get myself £10 out just in case. You never know when you might need some cash. Um, yeah. Oh, it's going to be fun. It's not going to be fun because today we're not in my office. Um, I'm in silly clothes. Uh, we're going to be going to HR and doing like training, boring stuff. Um, like setting up emails, here's all the information you need for your placement, all that kind of crap. <laughs> a little bit nervous though, a little bit. Totally, totally did not just withdraw 20 quid because I didn't have 10 pound banknotes. Um, out of the machine, see a bus, panic, take my card and then walk away without putting the, taking the money out and then realising that one, it was on my bus and two, to run the hell back to get my 20 quid. God damn. Well, it's a bloody good job I didn't get my other bus. Yeah, half an hour early <laughs> for my half an hour early be here time. So it's just gone eight. Normally, I need to be there at nine. Today I've got to be there at half eight. What am I going to do for half an hour? Just going to take a walk down this casual street near work. 
Um, so I'm not vlogging outside, basically. Uh, so yeah, that bus left at about half past seven from the bus stop where I picked it up. Uh, and I've got here just after eight. Normally I don't have to be here till nine, so that means I might not have to leave, like I say, until about eight o'clock-ish on a normal day, when I don't have to be here till nine. Obviously for the first week or so, I'll try and get here early, like half past eight-ish, but not this early. Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm kind of walking around a bit now, so I don't look too eager. I'll go back um, for 22. It is literally five past, so I've got like ten minutes to kill. I kind of need a week. And I can't get into the building because I haven't got like a key card or anything to get in. So, yeah, like an airport there, like an airfield. It's pretty cool, isn't it? That was bloody good. That um, it's nearly six. It's nearly six now. It's ten to six. I left um, work at just after five. But it's flexible. We're leaving time, so next time I have time it better, so I can actually get the bus. Because uh, as I was coming down the stairs of the building, I saw my bus go past, and I'm like, damn it. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot to tell you. Um, there's a lot I can tell you, there's a lot I can't tell you. I was explicitly told what I can and can't tell you. Um, well, not explicitly, but they knew about this stuff uh, when I did my interview, because I brought it up, or they brought it, something. I brought it up with them, and they were like, right, since you do this, so yeah, since you do this, we know you do this, and that's really, really cool. Um, basically, you can't tell them about business partners uh, or sealing deals that they might be doing because they're a PLC or something, so it has to go through like official channels, which is obviously understandable. Um, but it means that there are like brands that they work with, which I can't explicitly tell you. Um, obviously can't tell you any of the secrets that I learn while I'm there, like little tricks of the trade that they do. Can't tell you any of that. And I can't tell you, basically use some common sense when I can and can't tell you. And I can't go super deep into the technical aspect of what everything does and how it works, which I never do anyway, because um, you guys won't understand it. I would know how it works just by saying like, it's like me saying, oh, your computer does this and then I go into the details of saying your operating system does this that's not necessary for me on a remembery remembering like daily vlog you know what I mean basically um, it's a bit like me saying oh I burnt a disc and then instead of doing that saying I put a disc into my disk drive did this 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 that's not necessary for me to tell you as people because of um, uh, you don't need to know that and it might be it's going to be very complicated and it isn't necessary for uh, me to tell myself in the future because I obviously know how half that stuff works it's not I do this for memories not as a detailed instructions later but basically everything else is fair game so I can talk about it he literally said like oh by the way can we do can I have a word with you uh, about that stuff you do I'm like yeah sure Go in, sort it all out and all that my gubbins. Um, I'm nearly home now. I'm gonna talk, I'm a bit rushed. Um, I'm gonna try and ring up a tax people to try and organize my tax for the next year. And it's really raining um, because it's quite complicated because of having worked somewhere else and not technically leaving. Technically I'm gonna be taxed like massively at least this month and then I'll get all the money back next month. Um, but that's fine because this month is only like a, a two week month for me. Um, because of payday and stuff but yeah I'm gonna be taxed heavily this month because I've got two jobs um, but next month I'll get all that money back so that's fine uh, I have so much to tell you I've also got a lot of other people to tell the same stuff so I'm gonna get in I'm gonna put you on charge and then I'm gonna tell you later um, does that sound alright? I'm trying to keep track of everything I've got a lot things to do when I get immediately in through the door. Okay, right, we're back to vlogging at night. I'm going to quickly finish this, well, I'm not going to quick, I'm going to finish this vlog, render it out, and then I'm going to go to bed so I can go back to work again tomorrow. Um, it's been a bit of a rush day today because obviously I've come back and I've got to ring a million different people to tell mom, to tell dad, and all that kind of crap. I've been in gaming mode, ladies and gentlemen, playing some GTA. It's been great, actually. It's been really good. Uh, I've played GTA with the boys for a long time, and I've missed it. I've missed it so much. There we go. Back to normal, ladies and gentlemen. But yeah, what's been going on? Basically, and I'm going to close these windows now. 
because it's late and it, while it is quite warm in here, it's probably because I've just been playing Xbox and nothing to do with actual temperature. Um, no, it is quite warm. <laughs> I'll probably have my fan on tonight, I think. Um, basically, then what went on? I went outside the place and then we basically sat there waiting for our lift to the new place. It turned out the guy was actually in the building already and we should have knocked on for him, but how are we supposed to know that? So we went in, uh, well, he came out to us, we got a lift around to the thing, we were talking to the thing. Obviously I know the people from the interview and stuff. Uh, one of them goes to my university, um, it's on my course. The other one is uh, from Plymouth, from Plymouth University. Um, the one from my university is commuting from Bath, so if you think I've got it bad, then <laughs> Jesus. That guy has got one hell of a commute every day. Um, I think he's insane. And the other guy is living with his nan in Bristol, which has got to be fun. But I bet he's making a frick ton out of frick ton money out of it. So can't fault him really. Um, so yeah, that's that. Otherwise, we went up. We was talking to the manager and stuff, just getting to getting to know everyone and stuff. The other two are really quiet. So I kind of I'm kind of kind of the person where when I'm in a forced situation. If I'm like on a bus and stuff, I don't just start talking to people. But if I'm in a, in a situation where I know I'm going to have to talk to people at some point in a way, I just kind of fill up spaces, fill up conversation and stuff. Uh, so I was talking to the manager and stuff and like talked about how my bike got stolen and all that kind of crap. Um, how we were finding Bristol and all that. Um, so yeah, that was really good fun. But then as we're in the thing, it's like, you're the one that does the um, blogs and stuff, right? I'm like, yes, <laughs> I might be. He's like, no, 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 cool, well, that just means we'll, we'll have a chat about like what you can say and stuff later. And I'm like, alright, cool, sweet. So we went up to Oust, which is where the headquarters are. Um, Brightside headquarters, which is who I work for, the Brightside group. Um, I probably won't continually say that because it's obviously irrelevant. I need to get a Hoover out of it. Remind me, I'll Hoover tomorrow when I've got more time. Um, but yeah, so... Went up to Oust, which is where the headquarters are, near the old Seven Bridge. I didn't realise there were two. Um, but yeah, so that's where the headquarters was. Like, it's really loud, isn't it, with cars going past. When it's raining, you've obviously got all the, the wind and stuff from the water and shit. Um, so we went up there, we had like our induction into like what the company is, what the company, you know, the old, like, what the company values are, you know, okay. Um, going through all of that, health and safety. We then had to fill in all the forms that we had to fill in. I've got to find proof of address for my past three permanent addresses, which is here my new house and my old house, which is going to be fun. They want proof of activity for the past two years, which includes really old paychecks from my old job <laughs> in retail, which I'm not sure I still have. Um, I think I have a couple that are quite old, but not that old, like maybe 2013, but not much older than that. I've never really seen the point in saving my paychecks because <laughs> I'm a terrible human being. Um, so there was that. Uh, I've got to do proof of activity as well, which means I've got to prove that I've been at uni all that kind of crap. Um, I need to sort that out at some point this week um, so I can take it in for them. But then otherwise we had a tour of the place that we're not working because we don't work up at the house place. We work at this other place called Lysander House uh, on Lysander Road near Cribs Causeway. Um, so there's that. That's where our little headquarters like tech IT thing is. Um, key thing to note from this initial experience. Um, one is that it's already annoying. I've been there for one day, it's already annoying telling people what we do. It's really hard to explain what my job is. It's like, so what is it you do? Um, we do develop, especially since I haven't been there for long enough. We do development. Oh, like computers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like IT support. No. <laughs> You've got an IT support department on this site here. We have an IT support guy at our place as well. But we don't do that. We basically run your entire infrastructure. So like all of your websites, all of your servers, we're the ones that are updating that and making sure everything works. That's our job. But how do you say that? So you just kind of just say, yeah, IT support. <laughs> it's just easier. But that is something that's already annoying. Um, we then had like competence training and stuff. Brightside Group is basically an insurance broker. Um, they broker insurance. So we had to have a training on so that we don't launder money <laughs> and things like that. So um like trying to spot 90% of what we first had and was told this by the manager that drove us up there is pointless because it's all based on working in the oust bit which is all like the customer facing stuff we do all of the background stuff um, so it was 90% pointless but we did all that and then we were heading back to the thing the problem was though 
that we kind of rushed everything through. We said we'd, we wouldn't have a lunch, we'd just work through lunch. And then we just kind of had like five minute breaks, so we didn't have time to have lunch. So I was freaking starving on the way home. I'm not going to lie to you, I was pretty damn hungry. Um, but yeah, that's about that, all that up there. We had like a bit of a couple of quizzes on things that we'd learnt and I just walked them. I've done enough at my old job to just be really good at picking out all the things that they want you to write down. You know when they're telling you stuff, you've got like a half hour presentation on something. I'm very good at just going, right, there's all the answers to all of the things you just said. And then some of the other people are like, what was, what was the answer to this one again? What was the answer to this one? And the only thing I stumbled on was the, like, this person's last name. Because they had a first name and I'm like, I know that name. It was Summer. Summers. It's a guy called Summer. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to remember that. Didn't remember his last name. So yeah, there's that. I'm pacing around like a mother trucker, aren't I? But what's really annoying is this floor's really bobbly. Is that a problem? Look, can you see it? Look. That's not a problem, is it? That's not like damn problem, I don't think, guys. Oh, so, after that, um, we went back to the other place and then we got like our own desks and our own computers. And oh, it's good. We're going to get some forms, which means we can like request for like ergonomic stuff. Um, I want an ergonomic mouse mat. My God, have I been used to an ergonomic mouse mat now? I like it. Having a little uh, wrist rest on the mouse mat. But the keyboard's all right. The mouse is all right. Um, I've got a dual monitor set up. What is interesting though, because the dual monitor setup is more like, more like, I don't know, what's on my monitors? Well, YouTube stuff, but there you go. More like this, so you kind of look dead and then you look slightly to the left, slightly to the right. Which actually makes a lot of sense. I thought I'd get annoyed by the line in the middle. But I've only been there for like half a day. Like, but um, it makes a lot more sense because that's quite a big turn to look at that. But here, I guess, I haven't really got the room to go like down the centre. And it means that I can have that pointing at the bed. <laughs> if I want to watch TV in bed and all that kind of crap. But yeah, that's just something we had our computers set up for, is we have like accounts and things, we've got all this stuff that we need to install on it. Um, we have quite an interesting hour system, which means we have like quite flexible time, which means theoretically I can book off every second Friday, which is good, or every second Thursday or whatever, uh, I can move that around when I see fit. Um, by working a certain amount of hours, I need to work seven and a half hours a day, um, of which 30, at least 30 minutes is break, no, maximum 30 minutes break, um, but then you've, you've got an hour and a half, it's really complicated. I have to work between half nine and half four. They're the time, that's the time frame um, that most of my hours have to be done. But I have an hour and a half break, so theoretically I can go in at something like seven, work through, have my lunch break in the, in the allotted lunch break time, and then have an hour off at the end and then go in go home extra early and stuff like that and then the time that I accrue up I don't know how they measure this time though that's the thing that's confusing I might have to ask that um, the time that you accrue up so if I go in tomorrow because I'm going to go tomorrow about half past eight um, that hour before I have to start if I then leave at five which is when I'm planning to leave um, or just before five um, that uh, time frame what am I talking about? In that time frame, from half past eight till five, how many hours is that? That's eight and a half hours, isn't it? I can take a 30 minute break instead of having an hour break. And I prefer that in a way, because I don't really like hour break. Especially since you can just get up and make yourself a cup of tea whenever you want. So it's not like, yeah, so I'm probably just going to take half an hour break and then go back to work and then I've accrued an hour. Although in the first week we don't, like none of the flexi time exists until we start, actually, ignore me. Um, so yeah, we can basically do whatever hours we want, essentially. <laughs> it's really good. Um, so I'm thinking of doing, what I'll probably do most days is half past eight, well, when I get there, I guess. Half past eight, which is a nice time to get there for because of the buses. Because I could get there, all the other guys are like, they're gonna get there at half past nine, they said. They probably won't, they'll probably get there before half nine, but they said to me they were going to get there at like half nine. But if I were to get there at half nine, I'd probably have to leave here like 20 minutes later than if I wanted to get half eight, because of how the buses like start to stagger out as the traffic gets worse. It's just not worth it. And if I'm late and I'm aiming for half past eight, then I'm very early, you know what I mean? So I've got a lot of leeway, so that's how I'm going to roll. Um, but yeah, I went back to the place, had a tour, all that kind of crap. Uh, we have to pick a mug. I posted about this on the Facebook page. Um, Emily, I guess Emily, Emily and Andrew have both said that this is the mug 
that I should take, which is my um, caterpillar mug. I can't believe you've never seen this this video this before. I've probably sipped from it many a time in videos, but on the main channel I usually use a big mug. Um, but that's my favourite mug. I really like this mug. I like waking up in the morning having this mug. I don't know. I just really like this one. So I didn't want to use that one. The other favourite was the Union Jack one, but the Union Jack one is a lot bigger than it looked like in the photo I posted. It's huge. Um, you're talking, it's about the size of two normal mugs. That's the mug I'm actually taking. Um, I've got travel mugs, which I was originally going to take, because it obviously keeps it a bit warmer for longer. But if you look at this, look, you can like easily fit that, if, if I see if it didn't have a handle in, you can fit that inside it and then some, because, no, it just dwarfs it. It's too big, too big. Uh, so, yeah, I was going to take a little travel mug, which I thought was a good idea, because it keeps it warm longer, but it's not as fun to drink from a travel mug, is it? I don't know. We can take the lid off, I guess, instead of sipping through the sippy hole. But anyway, um, there's also a moonwalking mug. Go to my Facebook page if you want to see the photos of all the mugs I've got. <laughs> but I'm taking this one, I've decided it's the Where's Wally one. I didn't want to take this because it was Lovely's favourite. It's the one that Lovely drinks from when she gets here. But... I like it. It's um, my, it's probably my well, apart from the big, the big mug which I have for like hot chocolates and stuff when I'm here. Um, this is my favourite mug. But anyway, that's an important. So you're all set up the computers, talking to people about what we're doing. I know what project we're going to be doing for the next two weeks, but I assume we're going to just like nail down some statistics of it tomorrow. So I'll probably tell you about that tomorrow. Otherwise, I accidentally threw the guy from my university into the bus, made him look like a bit of an idiot, <laughs> because we was like in this one-on-one -on -one meet. Well as guys we're having like a talk about what the business does like what our IT department does um, this was just before he told me that I couldn't go into like s legit stuff um, and stuff on this video but I can tell you about like the company name and stuff like that which I haven't been able to do for my retail job you've noticed a lot of you know but I'm not supposed to tell you <laughs> really but these guys know about it up front my retail job didn't but yeah so I can't go into the technology and stuff like that. But anyway, he was describing the technology and things like that and some of the tricks that they do and all this mug of bins, um, to make themselves competitive with everyone else, everyone else uh, and how they like sort out all the stuff um, and some of the things I'm currently working on and stuff. What am I talking about? And he said, oh, he says, oh, you're from Plymouth, right? Is there any forms that we've never worked with someone? No, we've worked with someone from Plymouth before. Is it just the same like this single form that I need to fill in and then that's sorted and he goes yeah that's right yeah and then uh, goes to this other guy who goes to the same uni as me same year as me he's older than me he's 22 um, and goes uh, is there any different University of Bath we've never had anyone from the University of Bath and he goes no I don't think there is and I go there's I've actually got a letter that I'm supposed to give you today I've got a health and safety form that you've got to f you've got two weeks to fill in and hand back to me to give back to my university um, there's also a health and safety form I have to fill in then we've got these polo and golf forms which we need to fill in within the first month um, I've got a letter that explains all of this so do you want to see that <laughs> I just made him look like an absolute and he goes oh we can tell which one I use most unprepared most prepared and then yeah so it looks like I'm gonna enjoy I think taking taking the title of golden balls and doing everything right doing everything extra and I don't aim to do everything extra what you do right Here's my tip. Here's my one singular tip for those of you going into employment. Maybe you're just starting a new job. Maybe you're doing this and you want, uh, like, you, like, you don't know how to behave. You don't know how to do what. I'll tell you what you do. You go there and you do ever so slightly above the bare minimum, right? This is how I became Golden Balls at, re at retail, my retail job. Um, you go and you sit there and you go, right, I'm going to do just above the bare minimum. So I need to do this, 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 I need to give them this letter, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm gonna sit here and I'm just gonna silently, you do this very silently, because you don't wanna be like, look how clever I am, look how arrogant I am, da, 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 da. Um, you sit there and you go, right, I'm gonna absorb all of this information. You concentrate really, really hard until you've got yourself a headache um, as they're giving you the things. So that means that when you do the tests, you don't make yourself look like a fool when you're answering them. You just quietly do it to yourself, hand it back. Quietly confident, done. Okay, easy. Um, <laughs> but then when you're given jobs and stuff, you do the bare minimum. That at least to start, with, you start off with the bare minimum and then start to ramp up. You never start off at like 110% because then they expect 110% all the time. So you start off with like, if you can get away with like 95%, but you do it in an eager way. So if you start off 
like I'll start off, I'll not do any, I can't physically do more than what's asked of me, but I'm going to be going in early. I'll potentially be going home early because I have gone in early, but I'll be going in early, like looking eager and stuff like that. In my old job, I do exactly what's told of me, but when I'm going to go and do it, I will walk to it fast. So it looks like I'm eager to get there. It looks like I'm doing things. It looks like I'm really busy all the time. It's a, it's a facade, but it works. People fall for it. It's great. So that's my tip into looking busy. I think it's going to work for me here. Um, obviously, it's a lot more skill-based um, here, but I'm, I'd, I'd happily... Well, most of the time, I don't even want a Friday off. I'll happily do like the extra hours. Flexi, I probably will take the Friday off there. Um, but I'll happily do like the flexi, the flexi time going early, just because it's easier to do. And if that gives me the flexibility of then going home early, like on Friday when Lovely's coming down, I'll leave at half past four um, and go in early, leave at half past four, and then everyone's hunky dory, um, and then I can get back here and definitely be here for when Lovely's here. Um, and then there might be a time when I'm going up to Lovely, and then I can finish everything, leave early Thursday, jump on a train, go up to see Lovely, and then we get an extra day and all of that. Or maybe the same thing happens, but um, she's off on Friday, so she can come down here for an extra day and all that kind of stuff. So you, you're doing it, but you're doing it and there's a bonus, so why not do it? It's very strange. I don't understand why people would be like, I'm just going to get here dead on when they want us here. But you can come in early. There is no... There's no negative to coming in early. The traffic's easier. You have to leave only a tiny little bit earlier than to get here on time. It looks good. And yeah, so, but that's that. Otherwise, we don't really do much apart from setting up our computers, um, installing all of the software we need to install on it, because obviously it's got, like, they reformatted the computers, put on, basically, Microsoft Word and stuff, and then talk, give us a list of software that we've got to install. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's a very daunting, we was in a couple of meetings as well that we were just like kind of stood in just to listen to see what was going on. <sighs> the problem is with my field, and I'm going to say that someone asked me a question on the main channel, uh, Sophie did I think, um, the problem is with this field is you can know whatever the hell you want to know, right, I could be an absolute beast in Java, I could know everything there is to know, but within Java there's a million different subsections, so in, so, Programming is a big, 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 big cloud. Computer science is a huge cloud, right? Okay. Programming is another big cloud. Okay. <laughs> Inside programming, there's loads, like countless, maybe countable programming languages. Within each one of those, there's then a million different things about that programming language. Then there's a million different technologies that work with it. There's like different programs that work on this that don't work on others. And anyone, I could go up to some programmer and say some of the things that we're working on there and they wouldn't have no idea what it does. They'd be able to look at it and go, oh, it's similar to this, and then redo it. And that's what we, our degree basically does. It gives you the ability to see things and then go, right, okay, that's similar to something I've seen before. That means I can use this knowledge and I'm done. Um, so you're not learning how to program in Java. You're learning how to program using Java so that you can then apply that to something else. Um, so yeah, we're going to be using C sharp, C hash, C sharp. Yeah, C Sharp, um, which I've never used before. I've had, dabbled in C and C++, but not for long. Um, so, we are seeing how that goes. But yeah, we've got some very exciting things. We've got an XML project, is the first thing we're going to be doing. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, we started on some couple of meetings. At the moment, I'm just installing programs. I have no idea what they do. Some of them I recognise, things like WinRAR. Um, some other things like Notepad Plus Plus, like the staple programming stuff. Um, but yeah, it starts to get a bit complicated, and you're just like, what? But I've got my logons now. I don't think I have an email account yet. But yeah, it's very exciting. Anyway. So we all headed home. We all uh, got at the same bus stop, but we all get on three separate buses. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, they was offered to us that we could all live together. And I'm like, I don't really want to. Like, I can't imagine working with your day and then coming here and then being like, oh, so all we've got coming is work. So... I don't know, it's really awkward as well having to be together all day until we like know each other properly uh, to then also get the bus together. And I like reading on the bus, I've been reading my book. Um, so I like reading on the bus and stuff. And I had a million people to text, like I say. Um, got off here, came up here, had to ring tax people, Her Majesty's tax, whoever it is, who has the world's worst automated voice system. It's like, tell us what you want to do. Okay? 
you're not going to get this, but I'm joining uh, my second job and I need to move my free tax allowance from one job to my next job because one job isn't paying me anymore. Um, and just the automated system, it's just like, try again, try again, try again, try again. And after like 20 times, it then gives you an option to then start going, pressing buttons to do it. And I'm trying to force it to let me talk to someone and it wouldn't. Oh, and I told the guy, and I'm like, mate, you just did a freaking stellar job. You're an absolute beast. I have no problems with anything anymore. But your automated system's shocking. He goes, yeah, I know. <laughs> so yeah, I had to do that. Had myself some dinner. Talked to dad. Talked to mum. Played some Xbox. That's basically all. Uh, sorted out what I need to sort out for tomorrow, which is the tech stuff. And this uh, little uh, thing that I printed off um, for them. And that's about it. I'm going to do my proof of stuff tomorrow and all that kind of crap. Um, I've got more free time free time after work tomorrow because I'm not going to play Gemma G Boys. Um, and I don't have a million people to ring, I only have Lovely. And Lovely doesn't mind me like tinkering with things as I'm telling her about stuff. So yeah, ringing Lovely tomorrow to tell her about it. Um, but otherwise, that's about it. I'm uh, going to end this video, render it out. And then I'm going to go to bed. I don't really feel tired. I felt tired as I was leaving. But I think that's because we didn't eat much lunch. Um, or any lunch. So, yeah. Oh, it's been good fun. I've really enjoyed my first day of placements. Uh, I imagine I'll enjoy the rest as well. Thanks very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of a shorter video, but I went on a bit of a rant. I will catch you later with more information about what we're actually going to be working on for the first two months, I guess. Catch you later.